Hello and welcome guys to another video and today we have round 2 of the NLR GT3 Cup. So this is a knockout tournament, 550 drivers registered for this and how it works is there are 20 drivers in each heat and there are multiple heats for each round with one round a week and all you have to do is finish in the top 10 of your heat and you progress to the next round. So we already did round 1, didn't make a highlights video because it turned out to be a pretty boring race but we did get through it. So now we're on to round two. I've just done quali. We've put ourselves on P4. So let's see what we can do in the race. So as we approach the start now, just trying to get a good start, we're on the outside line coming into turn 1, so not a great place to start, but George Bithby in our lobby as well, an extremely fast driver. But coming into the first corner now, as you see, we get boxed in by the Porsche and McLaren, do not have anywhere to go, and then that allows the Porsche up the inside of us, and barely nearly the Bentley as well. But we're Bad able to start survive there, guys. the first corner, so let's see what we Kind of got a bit boxed in by the drivers in front of me. Let's see what we can do though. Car on the left. Clear on the left. Oh, ho, ho. I, that was just a massive <laughs> drift there, guys. Man, that was a bit sketchy. So I get that really nice overtake oh. around the outside, and then here I have a massive moment. Man, the car feels really slippery for some reason in the race. I do not feel like this in the practice server, maybe it's just the tyres and brakes warming up, I don't know. But does not feel very comfortable. And now we come up to 130R, one of the fastest corners of the track, and I get a tiny bit too much oversteer. Massive sight! And I clip the wall there, no. twice, both on the front and rear. It gives me 6 seconds of damage no way. which ends up costing us about one to two seconds every lap. But remember, all we need to do is finish in the Oh my days, ten. no. Oh, it's only six seconds, but if I lose two places, we're out of this. Hold on. And I've, there's a train of cars behind me, this is not good. Not good at all. So despite this damage, we're still able to keep the car together and it, at that precise moment in time I was faster than the drivers behind. And as you see a few laps later, I'm quicker than the two drivers behind but I'm definitely slower than the guys ahead with this damage because I'm doing about 201s to 202s race pace whereas without the damage I was doing mid to flats. So I was losing about 1 to 2 seconds every lap. And then this is really weird, if you look up in front of us at the McLaren and P2, notice he just goes straight off the track and then leaves the server. So I'm not sure if that was a disconnect or maybe some of his equipment failed, a free position. but it did give Why us a free position and put us up. So we're still in the top 10, now P7. Um, really annoying with this damage, the car has aero and suspension damage, so it's very slow. Collision up in front. Another free position, and we're up to P6 now, just as I was talking about that. What I just realised, guys, is the driver who's in P3 was the driver that was behind me before I hit the wall, so it would have been in the podium spots if we hadn't had that contact with the wall. That is, that is annoying. That is the end of the race, guys. Despite hitting the wall, we're able to recover and still finish in the top 10, which means that we advance to round 3. As always guys, thanks for watching and see you again next time.